Once upon a time, there were three little girls who went to the police academy. Two in Los Angeles. The other in San Francisco. And they were each assigned very hazardous duties. But I took them away from all that, and now they work for me. My name is Charlie. I think that Charlie agrees with you. Oh, I love it. But I want to hear about you. I want to hear about Europe. You've been racing cars. You came in third. Oh, oh, in third. <laughs> oh, oh, I got to tell you, I think that Bosley's keeping a scrapbook, but he won't admit it. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> oh, Bree and Kelly are going to be so excited to see you. Slow down. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, tell me about the French Baron. What's it go swim? Yeah. You are crazy. <laughs> Come on now. Is it the French Baron? Or is it the skin? Why? Huh? Yeah. It's one man now. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm betting the rest of my life on you. Uh, <laughs> who is he? Oh, let me tell you about him. He's in Europe. He's going to be racing at Le Mans. He was so upset when I had to come back here. What's the stupid emergency anyway? What? What do you mean, what? The cable. Urgent, come back, matter of life or death. I didn't send you any cable. There's no emergency. How many says there is? Life or death. Now, here's our new client and his wife. Charlie says not to contact them directly. Uh huh. Hi, what you doing here? I thought you had the day off. Oh, I do. Uh, I was just in the neighborhood, and I have a friend with me. I thought maybe you'd like to say hello. I don't know. We're pretty busy here. Pretty busy, huh? What? <laughs> hey. Oh, no. Ready to go to work? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you here for Ray? Hey, hold it. Hello, Charlie. Good 
morning, Bosley. You will never guess who is standing right before me this very moment. Good morning, Jill. Huh? <laughs> Charlie, it's so nice to hear your sweet, sweet voice again. I've already checked out that phony cablegram, Jill. Phony cablegram? Jill received a cablegram, supposedly from Chris, asking her to come home immediately. Bosley, look at this. Urgent. Come immediately. Matter of life and death. The telegraph company said the message was phoned in by a woman. That's all they know. Well, somebody must have paid for it. Somebody did. It was charged to a phone number. Mine. Well, that's a strange sense of humor. <laughs> Let me double your pleasure. This morning, I was contacted by somebody trying to reach you, Jill. You're kidding. Nobody knew I was coming here. A man named Paul Farino did. He phoned me just an hour ago. Who is Paul Farino? Oh, well, Paul uh, designs and builds formula racing cars. I haven't seen him in almost a year. Where is he, Charlie? Good question. I don't know. Nobody knows. He doesn't have an address, a phone number, a contact, nothing. Strange man. Hiding. Uh-huh. Hmm? Jill, he wants you to be at the Century City parking lot 2 o'clock today. He'll make the contact. Uh, I don't know. Mm, I know. I mean, Paul and I were close. Past tense, Jill? Well, if Paul's in trouble, I have to help, right? That'll be okay. I mean, we'll all go. We'll all be there. Right. I don't like it. Come on. I'll be in a public parking lot, surrounded by all my friends. The only danger will be the exhaust fumes. This was for friendship. The past is past. What about your present? Or a serious problem? Ah, not serious. Deadly. All right, now, how can I help you, Jill? My touring office wouldn't have forwarded your message if it hadn't been so urgent. My message? Mm -hmm. Wait, did you get a cable sounding really urgent, something about a matter of life or death? You didn't send it? I didn't send it. And somebody's using you to find me. And now they have. It's all right. I have friends here. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I trust nobody I don't know. But you, Jill, I have to get away from here. Will you trust me? Come with me. Of course. Yeah? How? I'm running it as a Grand Prix. It's really something. I don't get it. I mean, you're running it in the Grand Prix. Is that the big secret? One race is before. This race means very little. A quarter of a million. 
My stakes are much higher. Five million dollars at least, perhaps as much as fifty. Fifty million dollars? Okay, I'm hooked. Now, I've developed a new method of turbocharging. Not only great speed, but... Would you be interested in a Cadillac, say, that gave you over 100 miles to the gallon? Yeah, I think a lot of people would be interested in that. Precisely. I have the backing of a major auto firm. And if this baby does well in the race, not win, just do well. I'll receive a $5 million development fund. And when it's tested and patented, I become very, very rich. That's very, very nice. <laughs> you think the people who sent us the fake telegrams are trying to steal it? Or destroy it. I've been hiding this car for the last six months. And now they've used you to find me. I'm sorry. I'm not. I think this may turn out to be the luckiest.